Okay, first we're going to go over how to enter data into the new software. First you need to open the folder containing the inspection. And then open the inspection. You will be taken you should be taken to the totals tab right up front. Go ahead and let's just start with restroom data tab at the bottom. It should be gray. And go ahead and click on it and open that. First, I want to explain a couple things about all data entry tabs. Will all be the same. The only difference will be the, at the in the tab at the bottom. It'll make reference to a different room type. So as you see, we have a restroom data, office data, and a common area data. You'll notice that you're unable to click on other parts of of the of this particular sheet. However, you can click on any of the sheets on any of the cells in the data entry section. You'll also notice that you lose a lot of your formatting uh, options. The only one that still remains is hide and unhide. This may be removed on the form that you may have though. You'll also notice when you click on a cell that you have this little tab here, this little button. This is a drop down. When you click on that, you'll notice you're able to select all of the different items. Now, every item, anything that you inspect has to fall under one of these items. If there is something here that is not on, if there's something you've inspected that is not on this list, let me know and I'll be able to add it to the list and send you an update. You'll also notice if you go to the de a, def a cell in the defect column, you'll notice all of the possible defects. Now you can click to find the thing, the particular item or defect that you're looking for and it'll automatically drop it in. However, there is a much faster way to do it. For example, items. Say you inspected a baseboard and so you just start typing it and it'll see it'll automatically it'll automatically fill in and then just hit tab or enter and it'll automatically fill in the rest of it. And say that baseboard was defect free, it gets an X. Just type X and hit enter. And then go over to your next one. And say you you looked at the at a bookshelf, okay? There, and it had dust on it. And that's all it is. You don't need to capitalize your first letter. For example, uh, let's do a window. You see, I did not capitalize the W. However, when I do hit enter, it will capitalize it, and it'll fit the formatting of what's been programmed into this. And so this is how you enter the defects. So as you're listening to your tape recorder, you just start typing all of the different items and defects. I'm just entering a few things in so that we have some items that we can play around with and I can show you a few examples of some other things that you'll need to know for this particular sheet. Okay, now if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see these two little totals. You will be unable to click on them. Now what these totals are doing are they are adding all of the, they are adding everything from above them. However, you'll see that they are the same. Because what it's doing it is it is counting the number of cells that have something in them. And so if you scroll back up, we have seven and seven. So what we need to do is we need to remove the defect free. So rather than having you go through the effort of having to click each one, finding them and removing them, we've simplified this process a lot more. All you need to do is just be anywhere on this on the sheet and hit control, hold down control shift and then hit X. Now allow me to demonstrate what happens. Let me zoom in. Okay. So if you're anywhere on this on the sheet and you hit control shift X, watch all of the defect freeze. Watch what happens to these. It'll automatically delete all defect freeze from the defect column. This will make it a lot easier for you to do this as you ha you may potentially have upwards of over a hundred different defect freeze. This will allow you to find them and delete them quickly and easily. So remember, it is hold down control shift and then hit X and it'll take care of it for you. So now we have this uh, laid out and so what we need to do is we need to organize this into a way that's easy to read. So what you can do is you need to start in the upper right hand corner and click down and over right click and go down to sort 
and just sort by alphabetical. You see? And there you go. And it will group them. Now, say you want to sort them by these particular items. You just go there, sort A to Z. Just like that. And it will sort all of the defects. So, the sorting is, I said, you can do it here, sorting right here. Or you can also go to data and you can sort in this particular, you can sort in this column as well. And that is how you enter data into the data entry sheets.